Good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining me for this WNCT Now digital news update. I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio. That on your side is continuing to track COVID-19 cases statewide and across the East. Here are today's numbers. State health officials are reporting more than 5,000 new cases of COVID-19 today. While still high, the daily positive percentage rate stays the same as Tuesday at just under 15%. Nearly 500 more people have been hospitalized overnight and 30 more North Carolinians are in the ICU. The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services says the COVID dashboard experienced some technical issues, resulting in lower numbers for today. Federal crop prosecutors and the FBI are still investigating those involved in the D.C. riots last week. Officials say more than 100 people have already been charged and arrested on criminal charges. The charges reign from misdemeanor curfew violations in the District of Columbia to federal felonies related to the assault of law enforcement officers, theft of government property, and possession of firearms and explosives. Federal law enforcement say this week they are pursuing dozens more suspects who've been identified through photos and videos from the insurrection. Of those newly arrested is 56-year-old Robert Keith Packer of Newport, Virginia. Packer's mugshot appears to match the bearded man photographed at the Capitol, wearing a hoodie with the words Camp Auschwitz on it. As the FBI continues to offer rewards to people who assist in identifying persons through photos and videos, they ask you to contact them with any more information. Stay with us and we'll be right back with some more news after this short break. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. You're watching live coverage of a news conference. Live to breaking news. We're live outside. Of Joins us live in Kinston, in Jacksonville, in New Bern, now in Greenville. Dangerous condition. We don't dare drop our guard. Rip currents can be really hard to spot. The Washington waterfront. Chair pieces and cable lines. Walking you through the story. No Working day in and day out. This election. Unprecedented. I did speak to the Board of Elections director. We are there with you. We're on your side. Nine on your side. Weekdays starting at five. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're just tuning in, I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio, bringing you some evening updates. WNCT is bringing you live streamed updates every Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. to bring you the latest and up-to-date news before our nightly newscast. The inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden is just one week away, and D.C. is preparing for the inauguration, but not in the way that you would think. Rental company Airbnb is canceling all reservations in the Washington, D.C. area for inauguration week. Originally, the company shared a prevention plan, including restrictions of who was eligible to rent. Now they're blocking any and all reservations. The company says canceled reservations will be fully refunded and hosts will be reimbursed by Airbnb. Other preparations include erecting a six foot tall fence in front of the Capitol building. Officials say the fence will be set up Friday in anticipation of protests ahead of the inauguration. The National Guard was brought to the Capitol as well. You can see photos of guardsmen sleeping on the bare floor of the Capitol. There will be, they will be there past Inauguration Day as an extra security measure. Well, the holidays may be over, but now we're entering into the season of sweets. That's right, I'm talking about Girl Scout cookies, and they're kicking off their cookie sales this upcoming weekend. With the ongoing pandemic, Girl Scouts of America will be pushing a lot more of their sales online this year. They'll still have booths outside storefronts, but there won't be as many. And those scouts selling those cookies will be wearing masks, practicing social distancing, and offering hand sanitizing stations. The Girl Scouts of America is also partnering with Grubhub this year, so people in certain areas can have their cookies delivered. We have more information on cookie sales. That's coming up tonight on our broadcast at 5 and 6, along with the announcement of a brand new Girl Scout cookie flavor. 
Well, that wraps up this WNCT Now evening news update. We have more news coming up for you tonight on our broadcasts at 5 and 6. Thanks so much for watching.